throng to gather around the fishing boat. The buzz swelling as a forklift carried the humongous tuna toward the marina's official scale. Christ, was that scale even big enough? Captain Preston beamed, giving a hearty slap to the back of the groom-to-be and announcing that he'd never met a finer bunch of anglers in all his life. You guys are the best, he said, and you proved it today. Rather be good than lucky, one guy shouted back. Of course, the truth would stay strictly between him and Jeff. These big city misfits had no clue what they were doing. They couldn't catch a cold, let alone a fish. Yet, the strongest on hand. On the count of three, she was hoisted high into the air. The crowd oohed and awed appreciatively. This was some fish. Six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred pounds. The arm of the scale shot up like a rocket. When it finally... Camera's gone home, unfortunately. vision begins to narrow. I can feel my eyes rolling back now. Not good. Really not good. I might pass out and then Ernie will be all alone out here. Next, I start to shiver and my teeth are chattering. Not good. Mom, he yells. Mom! I think hard, forcing myself to stay conscious. I need to think in straight lines like a doctor, like myself. I need to stop the bleeding in my leg. What I need is a tourniquet. The MD in me takes over and I quickly remove one of the straps from my life jacket. Reaching down in the water, I fasten it as tight as I can above my knee. Within seconds, I can feel it help. Thank you. 